Hello everyone. Today I am planning to showcase a use case where I am using Power Automate Cloudflow and I am using the connector of Microsoft Translator version 2. Let's get started. To create the flow, we would be coming to make.powerautomate.com platform and we will be pressing our create. And now we will be going and choosing our automated cloud flow as this would be an automated cloud flow. So let's select a name. And I have given it a name. Now I will be selecting a trigger. In this case, I would be selecting an Outlook trigger where the message or the email arrives. Let's search for email and it is giving me these many options and I would be choosing it from here and I will be selecting this one which says when an email or when a new email arrives. Let's select that and let's press our create. It will be taking me to the canvas and I will be leaving all the settings as it is because I don't want to do any more changes and I would be looking into my inbox folder. So let's keep it as it is. As I have already created my trigger activity, now I would be searching for Microsoft Translator. So let's go to new step, search for translator, select this and as I don't know what language the body is written in, I would be selecting detect language activity first so that I can detect the language. And as I have already created a connection prior to this, it is showing me this option to just provide text. But if you are coming here for the first time, it will be asking you to create a connection. I will be showing you that. Let's click over this and go to add new connection and this would be your default view. So let's click over that and provide it a name. I would be providing it a name as demo and my subscription key. So here is the catch. Even if you are not providing a subscription key, it will work fine. But there are a few limitations and this is the link where you could get all those details and I will be providing this link in the description section. You can go through that. By, or by just providing this connection name and pressing over create, you can make a connection. Let's create a connection. Now as the connection is created, it is asking me to provide the text of which you want to detect the language. So let's give it which would be coming from our trigger activity, which is nothing but body, body of the email. So let's search for body. Let's select body. Now, as we have already selected our text as body, now we need to know whether it is in English or not. So let's provide a condition here. To provide a condition, let's go to new step. And let's go to control. If you go to control there are many activities from where you can choose I will be choosing my condition as I need to check whether the detected language is English or not and let's rename it a little bit and here it is asking me to choose a value which would be language name coming from this detect language activity. Let's select that and I will be providing the language name here, which is nothing but English. So I want to check if it is not English. So I will be selecting logic here if the language is not equal to English. Now, if the language is not equal to English, I want to get an email with the translated body of it. For that, let's go into add an action. 
and let's search for translator again if I click over Microsoft Translator version 2 here are these three options again and this time I will be taking translate text let's click over that and here it is asking me what is your target language in this case my target language would be English and you can choose it from these many options drop downs let's choose English and here it is asking me which is the text which you want to translate so let's select body again now there are couple more fields which you can fill in but right now as it is not needed I won't be filling them in let's leave them and let's go to add an action so that we can get another email which would contain the translated body let's click over that let's search for outlook and let's choose send an email activity and I want to send an email to myself I will be providing my email ID here and I will be taking the subject from the subject and I will try to make it a little customized over here so if I try to customize it I will be able to detect whether it was translated by Microsoft Translator or not so let's give it a little more so here actually I have translated it uh, using Microsoft Translator so I will be using translated by Microsoft Translator and using this subject actually I will get to know whether this was translated by our Microsoft Translator or not so let's leave that aside now we can write our body and even this we, I, I will try to little customize it let's customize this one as well and I will be providing hi this is your translated body and I will just press enter press a double quote I, am, I have provided double quote there and press enter again and in between these double quotes I will be providing my translated text which is a dynamic value which you can choose from here and there are a couple more fields you can choose or you can update here in this one so this is send an email activity of outlook and if we are choosing the sensitivity or reply to options you can choose them from here I would like to choose the reply to option because this email is not coming from me or might not come from me in real scenarios I will be or I would like to reply to the same person who has sent me that email so let's come here and let's press over this add dynamic content and let's click over from now I would try to choose the importance as high so these are my customized fields which I have customized but even if you are not doing it the flow would work fine let's test it let's save this flow and now it says your flow is ready to go we re recommend you to test it let's click over test let's choose manually and let's press over test
as our flow is ready to go and it is saying to see it work now send a new email in your inbox so let's come here and I am sending an email to my another account which is having that flow running and I am using a German text over here in the body so let's click over send as now this email is sent I would be waiting for it in, in email box and here it came so now as this has come to my inbox it should trigger this activity or I would say flow so it will trigger that flow and it will start running let's see whether our bot runs fine or it faces any issues so as it says your flow ran successfully I would be going into my inbox and I will try to see whether it has come correctly oh yes yes it worked fine it says hi this is your translated body and the translated text of this German text so the translation of this German text is I am glad to meet you and that is what it is giving me I hope this use case is useful for you guys and you guys would like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and please stay tuned